What's going on guys? Ron Moore here back with another episode. So we're in part two for our series about metabolism and today's topic is thermic effect of food. So in this video you're going to learn about the thermic effect of food and you're going to learn the difference between three meals versus six meals uh, which is better and if there is a difference in terms of the amount of calories you burn for the thermic effect of food. But first let's recap what we learned last week. We learned that with your metabolism, your metabolism is comprised of your metabolic rate, which is accounts for 60 to 65% of the calories you burn, the thermic effect of food, which accounts for 10 to 15% of the calories you burn throughout the day, and that's going to be obviously depending on the number of calories you consume, and the thermic effect of activity, which accounts for 20 to 25% of the calories. So it's really important to understand, in the past, probably the last five or ten years, there was this idea going along in the fitness industry and nutritional uh, world that the more meals you have, it, it'll boost your metabolism. You might have heard it somewhere where they explain your metabolism like a fire. And by you putting food, they would explain it as you put more fuel in the fire, it's going to rev up and keep that fire going. So keep your metabolism going. Well, unfortunately, the science is in, and, and it really doesn't work that way. It's important to understand that whether you, the calories you burn from the thermic effect of food, which is basically digestion, that's not necessarily speeding up your metabolism. Think of it as a way of it's just digesting. So it's a transient increase in your metabolism due to the cost it takes to break down and assimilate the calories that you're eating, the food. So think of it as in terms of it's proportional to the caloric intake uh, which accounts for 10 to 15 percent not necessarily the number of meals uh, also important to understand that your protein carbohydrates and fats uh, there's the different energy costs to break them down but really it's not really that important because at the end of the day you're not going to just have a hundred percent protein because protein has the highest thermic effect if you just eat protein by itself, let's say 100% of your calories are protein, the thermic effect of digesting it, because it takes longer to digest, is going to be 20 to 30%. Whereas for carbohydrates, it might be 5 to 10, and fats a little bit less. But you don't want to be bogged down that, by that number because your overall goal isn't to increase the thermic effect of food, because you can see that it only accounts for a small portion, uh, and only 10 to 15. And it would never make sense to eat more calories in order to maximize the amount of calories you're burning from the food. Think of it another way in terms of a bank account. If I, have, if I give you an allowance of $1,500 and whatever you purchase, I give you a 10%, you get a 10% discount. Now, whether you come to me and say, Ron, I saved you so many dollars because of your discount, my question to you would be, well, how much did you spend? i.e. if you ended up spending fifteen hundred dollars you're going to save ten percent of that so you saved 150 but if you ended up spending three thousand dollars more money let's say that you had sure you saved a lot more but you also spent a lot more so if you can see the logic it's never a good way just to maximize the thermic effect of food because you'll always be eating more calories you'll always be food fighting and losing battle and also we're going to look at the six versus three meal. The science is in. Fortunately, we were wrong. By eating more meals isn't going to stimulate your metabolism. And by not eating or missing a meal isn't going to slow it down. It's just those temporary transient increases is going to change. But keep in mind, if we look at, if you have six meals of 300 calories, you're going to be eating 1,800 calories that day. And let's assume you ate the exact same amount of food at the end of the day, but spread it three meals of 600 calories. At the end of the day, it's the same thermic effect of 180 calories. We're assuming it's 10%. So at the end of the day, I'm not saying that eating six meals is bad or eating three meals is bad, but most importantly, educating you on that there isn't a difference. If you're the type that if you find six meals a day doesn't work with you, if you have kids and it's not very flexible enough, then you might want to look at what fits your lifestyle and changing it up. Personally, it was very liberating for me because no longer did I have to eat two or three hours. And I found that if I, if I lengthen the time between my meals, I feel good with it. Now, some of you, if you're hypoglycemic or pre-diabetic or diabetic, it might be better for you to eat every two or three hours. So it's a personal thing. 
All I'm here to do is educate you on the latest research and inform you that eating six meals a day isn't one of those facts that are stuck in stone. It's more, it turns out to be dietary and fitness dogma. So yeah. there you have it guys, at the end of the day, I hope you learned something about this video. So the thermic effect of food plays a small role in your overall metabolism. Your goal isn't to maximize that thermic effect because you'll have to be eating more calories in order to do so. Eating three meals or eating six meals, the thermic effect doesn't really change. It's proportional to the overall calories you consume at the end of the day. I hope you guys learned something in today's video. Please leave any comments that you might have if you have questions. I really want to open this forum up. I want to have a lean, fit, healthy forum. You know, I'll, I'll do the best I can to educate you guys along the way so you can live the lean, fit, healthy lifestyle. So as always, make a decision and a commitment to getting in the best shape of your life. Make it happen.